Thank you, Brother Darren. Welcome everyone into the sanctuary. So great to see some old faces. Welcome again. Great to see so many people here in person today. Welcome to those worshiping virtually and around the world. Um, this week was a bit tough for me. I had a death in the family, a dear friend of my dad. And it reminds me that there's so much to be grateful for. And we have to show love to others. At this gentleman's funeral, he was cantankerous, he was loving, and all the tributes that came in encapsulated a great life of giving and outpouring. And we have to remember that as Christians, we're yes. called to be a light, yes. to shine God's light wherever we are. So I invite you to pray for, with me, those who have an unspoken prayer request on your heart. This is your time to lift it up to God. Lord, thank you for bringing us here this morning. We do not take standing before you here today for granted. Help us to live each day as you would want us to. Help us to walk closer to you. Show love to the, the loving and the unloving. No matter our status in life, dear God, help us to walk in the way that you call us. Help us to take our vows to you seriously. Help every, every relationship that we're in to be like the eddies in an ocean, to spread far and wide and touch others, make an impact on others' lives, dear God. We pray for this country, dear God, for our leaders, that you would guide them and keep them in the ways that would benefit the people of this nation and the people around the earth because America, what America does, touches people everywhere. I pray God for those who are at war. It's so sad that we, at this stage in our evolution with all the technology and knowledge that we have, we can't settle our disputes by talking and by love. We have to fight and kill each other. I pray for those people who are displaced around the world, even here in California, dear God. Provide a way. Send healing. Send help yes. where it is needed, dear God. Yes. Help us here not to get too comfortable and to forget that it could easily be us. Yes. Help us to wake up each day with a song in our heart. Gratefulness, dear God. Gratefulness for each and every day for all that you have provided. Pray for our pastor, dear God, cover and keep him and his wife, strengthen yes. them as they go forth each day, as they lead us. It's not an easy task, and we thank you for them. I pray for the congregation here today, those who are at home who couldn't make it, those who are sick and shut yes. in. So many saints would want to be here today, but they're under the attack of the devil. We ask you, God, to heal. Send healing from here to their homes. Touch them, dear God, from the top of their head to the tip of their toes. Help those of us who've been healed not to forget how far we've come. Help us to turn to those in need, dear God, and extend love and care where it's needed. Help us as a congregation to band together to make a difference here on this corner at 58th and Telegraph and Racine Street here in California. Thank you, God, for all those who labor in this church, who do outreach, who take of their time to make sure that your word gets out. Help us not to just come in every Sunday and be comfortable in the pews. Help us to get uncomfortable because to change, it things are uncomfortable. Help us to stand on your word in everything that we do, dear God. And let us never forget how blessed we are. We thank you for your love and your grace and your mercy in our lives each and every day. Each and every day. We pray for traveling mercies for those on their way. Dear God, let this service bless someone, touch someone, move someone to be a better person. We thank you that we are blessed to be here every Sunday. Let us never take it for granted. We give you all the love and all the praise in Jesus' mighty name. 